Assalamualaikum. Welcome to this video tutorial on ASP.NET 4.5 for students of King Faisal University and for others who want to learn ASP.NET. This is part 15 in this series entitled User Controls in ASP.NET 4.5 Using C Sharp. Creating a user control is comparable to creating a web form. It has an extension of .ascx. It begins with the directive at control as compared to the web forms at page. It is embedded inside the web form. There are two steps to embed inside the web form. First is to add a register directive to the page, and after that, the user control can be added anywhere in the body. For activity number 15, we will create an ASP.NET website and place it in CASP activity 15. Then we will create a web user control called today is that has a label object that displays the current date using datetime.now. Then we will create a web form and apply the web user control. Okay, let's create our website, file new website, and we'll put it in activity 15. Okay, we'll create now our web user control. So right click your website, add add new item, not a web form, but a web user control there. And we'll call it today is and click add button. So there is the control directive. Let's go to the design view. Let's add a label where we're going to put the time. Then let's go to the code behind. We need the page load. We'll put here the date today inside the text property of label one is equal to today is plus uh, the date time now. That now, okay, dot the string. To string. Where? There, the string. Okay, so we're done with the web user control. Make sure that you save it. Okay, you save it. And then now we're going to create the web form that we'll call our web user control. Add new item, web form, default, click add. So first we have to register the directive to the page. So we'll do it here. Sorry, start with less than. There, the register directive. Next is the tag prefix there. Remember that the tag prefix for uh, the components in ASP uh, is ASP. So for our web controls, we'll name it KFU. Okay. And for our first control, we'll put the tag name today is. The last is we have to define the source. So it's equal to, there it is, today is ASCX. Okay, so that's the first step. The second step is to put it anywhere inside the body. So we'll put it here in the div. Let's call it, start with KFU, there. KFU today is, and we'll make an ID. Uh, let's call it today is one. And don't forget, run it to server there okay Kalas. now let's try to run our web form control f5 there we've just implemented our first web user control at this point we're going to try to integrate user controls uh, it means that the manipulation is in the web form that calls or uses the user control so for our next activity, we're going to revise our current website by allowing a user of a web form to choose the format of the date, either short or long, using a radio button list. Okay, so we'll go to the code behind of our user control. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create an enumerated data type to easily determine the choice. So public enumerated data type, let's call it date format. And we'll have two values for this, the long date and the short date. Okay. The next thing is that uh, we have to add a property to the class and it should be of date format data type, right? Correct. So we'll add one 
property that is a date format and we'll call it format so there's one property called format the next thing is that we're going to make the methods to get and set the value for the format property this is something that we did when we were creating classes so public uh, date format then capital F right then we will use the get uh, return value uh, wrong oh no no sorry return the property return format and then set uh, here we'll use the for the value set format is equal to value correct yes correct and that's it okay and then we will we will make the code uh, to set the value of the label given the value of the format property. So we'll do it here. Uh, if format is equal to date format dot uh, let's start with short date short date then label one dot text is equal to now we'll change this to to short date yeah okay here to short date string okay to short date string else if uh, format is equal to a date format that the other one long d then label one dot text is equal to today is plus date time dot now yeah and this time it will be too long date string correct yeah that's correct okay so we're done with our web user control the next thing is that we have to go to the default let's go to the design and we will add a region button list here okay let's try to enable auto pause back edit items we will add short date and long date okay remember that this time we are in the default the one the web form that uh, calls the user control okay now we will go to the page load event okay and we'll determine the choice that the user made in the region button region region the selected index yeah okay selected index is equal to zero that means the first option which is the short short date uh, so today sorry today is one that format there is equal to today is yeah that date format that short d correct but if it's the second option then that is reach about the list one that selected index is equal to one then today is one our object format is equal to today is our class that date format and the value is long d okay i think we're done okay let's try to run it in our browser control f5 so right now it's short date right oh sorry it's a long date so we'll make it short date 
and long date and short date and long date. I believe we still have time for another activity, so we'll create another user control called Login that contains a panel with two text boxes for name and password. Then we will create a new web form called Login Form and integrate the Login Control. Then we will add a button and a label. We will make a button click event that tests if the inputs are KFU and 123 for the name and password. Then we will display match in the label for a match, otherwise we will display no match. Okay, so let's create our new user control, add new item, there we have user control, login, that's the name, then let's go to the design view, we'll add the panel, let's make it smaller, then we'll change the back color so we can see it, any color other than white, okay, let's type username, sorry, and beside it is a text box. Then password below it. And beside it is another text box. Okay, then let's save it and let's go to the code behind. So what we will do here is just to simply create uh, two public methods that returns a string value. Let's start with username. And all we're going to do here is to return uh, whatever is inside text box one doc dot text okay semicolon and close we will do the same for the password which is inside text box two we'll call it password and we'll return we'll return the value in text box two dot text Okay, semicolon close. We're done. Make sure you save your control. Then uh, go back to activity and create our web form. Let's call it login form. Login form. Then we have to register our control in this web form. So register. Start with a tag prefix of KFU. Okay, then tag name will make it login. Then the source is login.ascx. Okay, so we've registered our tag. Now we can put it anywhere we want, maybe inside the div. So less than KFU, they are login. Let's make an ID for it. Let's call our object login1. And don't forget to run it at the server okay, class. So if you go to the design view, we will be able to see our user control. So let's add the button. Let's name it test. And under it, we'll display or we'll add also a label. Okay, let's double click our button for the event. So here we will test if uh, login one that username okay that's the method that we did in our user control uh, is equal to kfu and uh, that one returns only whatever we typed in text box one uh, and then end again in login one we created another method uh, password and all it does is to return whatever we typed in text box two so one, two, three. Correct. Then label one. Dot text is equal to match. Else label one dot text is equal to no no match. Alas. So let's try our web form. Let's uh, make it not match. Okay, a few. One, two, three, four. Test. No match. Let's make it okay, a few. One, two, three. Test. It's a match. Okay, well, congratulations. We just finished discussing user controls in ASB.NET. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Mas salama.